This is the second part on the photovoltaic IV characteristics. Uh, in this part, we will look at the effect of um, the environmental conditions like the solar irradiance and the temperature on the IV characteristics, uh, as well as the effects of uh, various parameters like the um, uh, series and uh, shunt parasitic resistances and uh, this ideality factor and their effect on the IV characteristics. Okay, the circuit at the top that is our model for the um, PV cell and um, we derived this uh, IV characteristics or the current voltage characteristics of the PV cell. Uh, we discussed this in detail in part 1 of the video. So essentially at uh, close to zero voltage or very low voltages the um, current through the diode, the forward bias current is, um, is very small and therefore the external current I is almost equal to the photon current I, I, IPH. As the voltage increases, uh, especially beyond this point, the current through the diode rises uh, rapidly. Therefore, the available external current also comes down uh, proportionately and reaches zero at, uh, at this um, uh, open circuit voltage. Um, now, two points of um, main interest in the IV characteristic. One is the uh, short circuit current. So, that is the current when the terminals are shorted and V is zero. And uh, the other point is the open circuit voltage, that is when the external, um, the terminals are open circuited and the current is zero, resulting in this maximum voltage VOC. Now, this plot corresponds to just one particular operating condition corresponding to a given uh, solar irradiance, a given temperature, and for the given values of the um, um, the, the PV cell parameters, mainly the parasitic resistances and the ideality factor A. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on um, how the these various environmental uh, factors as well as these uh, parameters affect this um, IV characteristic. Uh, and also, this particular plot uh, actually corresponds to a commercial uh, PV panel, um, just considering a single cell of uh, of the panel. And uh, this is um, roughly a 200-210 watts uh, panel, and um, all the cells are in series. And the short circuit current for each of the cell is, um, is roughly 8.3 amperes as um, uh, indicated here. And the open circuit voltage again of a single cell is about 0.62 uh, volts. And, um, um, and the, um, this 8.33 amperes actually corresponds to, um, so th this plot itself corresponds to a full uh, maximum irradiance of uh, 1000 watts per uh, square meter. Uh, as specified in the data sheet. Okay, first we will look at the effect of the solar irradiance. Um, so the irradiance mainly affects the photon current. Um, so irradiance affects the I photon. And uh, in the previous vi previous video, we saw that the short circuit current is uh, exactly equal to the photon current under the assumption that the series resistance is very small. So the irradiance mainly affects uh, the I short circuit, the short circuit current. Okay. And that is shown in this uh, family of uh, IV characteristics. The first plot, the red plot, corresponds to sort of the maximum irradiance. This is what um, given as under the standard test conditions, STC, in the data sheet. And this uh, red curve corresponds to exactly what we saw in the previous slide. Okay. So that is 1000 watts per square meter. Now, if I reduce this irradiance level to, say, 750 watts per square meter, then I get this green uh, IV uh, plot. Now, this is uh, keeping this air mass AM constant at the specified value of 1.5. So, all these plots correspond to air mass of 1.5 by that different solar irradiance level. And similarly, if I reduce it to one half of the maximum at 500 watts per square meter, I get this blue IV plot and so on. Uh, so the effect of uh, irradiance uh, on the short circuit current is uh, it's linear. So the short circuit current uh, increases linearly, proportionately with the solar irradiance level. Okay. Um, so on this end, we can also see the effect on the open circuit voltage. Okay. So as the irradiance increases, um, the um, open circuit voltage uh, also increases. Okay. Um, so at the um, maximum irradiance of 1000 watts per square meter, the open circuit voltage for this particular commercial PV cell uh, it was about 0.622 and uh, whereas at the lowest uh, one that's considered here at um, 
uh, one quarter of the maximum value it is uh, roughly around um, looks like it's about 0.58 um, volts um, that range so the effect of um, uh, solar irradiance on the open circuit voltage is not that significant okay next is the effect of temperature the temperature also significantly affects the uh, IV characteristic and its most dominant impact is on the open circuit voltage VOC um, as I mentioned in the previous video the open circuit voltage has uh, a large negative temperature coefficient of about minus 0.35% uh, per degree Celsius or minus 2.2 millivolts per degree C okay. Okay. and uh, this is illustrated in the uh, two IV plots shown here the blue waveform actually corresponds to the uh, standard test conditions STC uh, this is um, uh, a module temperature of um, um, 25 degrees Celsius now so that's the same plot as we had in the in the first uh, slide uh, and that giving um, and that gives a open circuit voltage we will see of uh, 0 0.622 volts now in the same PV cell if I increase the uh, temperature by uh, roughly 25 degrees Celsius uh, keeping the solar irradiance uh, the same um, then the open circuit voltage uh, comes on drastically as shown here uh, about 0.57 or so and uh, if you look at the uh, um, the power from the PV cell which is the product of the voltage and the current and uh, we briefly alluded to this uh, maximum power point so under STC the maximum power point is uh, somewhere here giving uh, a larger power whereas um, the maximum power point for the red wave red curve corresponding to the higher temperature that is uh, probably somewhere here and the product of the current and the voltage at this point is um, is significantly lower so therefore the main point is um, at higher temperatures for the same solar irradiance we get um, a significantly lower uh, power output the the, the drop in the uh, open circuit voltage with temperature uh, is mainly due to the uh, the increase in the dark saturation current IO with uh, with temperature okay so this is an example from a commercial PV cell uh, I think it's a Santec uh, STP245 and here are the temperature coefficients the one that we've been looking at is the temperature coefficient of the open circuit voltage and that's about um, that is minus 0.33 percent per degree Celsius for this particular uh, module um, and um, if you look at the temperature coefficient of the power that is also negative and it's uh, it's, it's almost um, the the power output comes down by half a percent for every degree Celsius rise in the temperature okay um, next we will look at the uh, effect of the temperature on the short circuit current the temperature effect on ISC uh, it increases very slightly the higher temperature increases the short circuit current uh, but very slightly and this a uh, small increase is because uh, the band gap of the material uh, that decreases slightly with the temperature and therefore for a given irradiance there are more electron hole pairs generated at a higher temperature resulting in um, slightly higher short circuit current uh, but as shown here the increase is only about 0.05% uh, for every degree Celsius rise in temperature and that is also confirmed uh, in this uh, example commercial PV cell data sheet the temperature coefficient for this particular module is uh, same 0.055 percent per degree C and that is also indicated in this IV plot you can see the red curve which corresponds to the higher temperature has ever so smaller uh, rise in uh, in this short circuit current this is uh, nearly 12 minutes so I will uh, shift the discussions on the effect of uh, parameters like the parasitic resistances and uh, ideality factor A to the next video part 3 on IV characteristics.